Hey, good morning, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. This is where we left off, I guess. Yep. Let's get our login rewards. What is this? Yeah, I'm just gonna X this out. I'm not gonna use this, so I don't know why. Anyways, I'm gonna switch Theron out because I don't like him. Let's do this again sometime. No, nah, I'll pass. Okay, we're planning a uh, plant communication speaking, so let's do that. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's kind of loud. There you go. Um, hey, wait. do I have to fight all of them? I don't think so. Wait, what are you guys blocking over there? I don't, I don't want to find out though. Can't I just do this? You're too far away. Okay. she go I don't see her got you oh wait can I tell can I tell like grapple to that now I'm too far away anyways. on you nice 
nice. Uh, too far away. What do you mean too far away? I'm so used to ladder. Now what? Cool. Defeat the Sith Warlords. Okay. Or droids, I mean. They're not that hard. Wait, wrong way. Okay, now I, this is where he is. Wait, Darth Savage is here? So I could have like went this way earlier. But I don't know if that will be wise though. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, never mind. So fast. The diversion was impressive, but oh, I said him is her. Your moves too well to be fooled by a mere imitation. Sorry, Savic. I didn't mean to say that. Uh, I seriously don't remember her. Now that I see you in person, you do seem familiar. Was it Corellia? Yes. It was Corellia. You're clear for launch, Petrif. The sensor jammers will activate when you exit orbit. You'll be all but impossible to track. Await my return, dear Onderon. You shall know the splendor of my rule once again. Let's ensure a bit of privacy while we're at it. Shuttle 2. Commence aerial assault on hostiles in Zone 5. Now then. I've prepared for this day for so long. Where to even begin? You struck me down in my prime, then moved on without a second thought. Corellia would have been my tomb had my droids not found me. In truth, I should thank you. You made me what I am. Taught me the best way to move forward. I haven't risked direct combat in a decade. I send my droids or manipulate fools like Petrif to fight for me. But now, at last, the Force has reunited us. I've spent years studying you, crafting the ideal response to your every tactic. Shall we test what I've learned? Bro, what is she talking about? I don't remember her, to be honest. I regret harming you. If I had any other choice now, I'd take it. You have another choice now. Take it. Revenge can't heal. It can only destroy. Then let it destroy you! Oh no. So scared. I will destroy you! I you don't need must to fight. Destroy you. Nope, you don't need Ready? to fight. How does it feel? How does what feel? 
Goodness, how many AOE attacks do you have? You will never forget again! You should have finished the job! No, uh, I'm finishing it now. No! I won't lose again! I can't! Well, too bad. You're losing. You should have finished the job! Oh no. I'll get another area attack. Okay. I will destroy you! I must destroy you! Uh, you don't need to destroy me. You can be friends. Hate was supposed to make me stronger. Mm -hmm. All of my rage, all of these years, it still wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. I've studied, trained, risen to the Dark Council. What does it take to beat you? How can you be so powerful? We can be friends. I'm strong because I fight for others. The Force is a part of all living things. How could anyone hope to master it when they only focus on themselves? Please. It's clear that I'll never beat you. I... I, I don't... I, I don't think I even want to anymore. I just want to understand. I can't return to the Sith now. Not after this. They cannot help me become more than I am. Only you can. Hey there. Sounds like we won. Everyone yeah. alright? Some of the city guards were hit by the airstrikes, but we're pretty sure they'll make it. Looks like you have one prisoner. Was Petrif in the other shuttle that launched? Yes. He left as soon as I got here. I can help you. You can easily track him down with his sensor jammer's algorithm. I'll give you the algorithm. Whatever you want. Yeah? How about the other fleets the Empire is targeting? Where will your friend strike next? Nekshar. It's an old mining outpost that was converted to a fueling station. I don't have the details, but that's our uh, Malgus's next target. Really? Okay. Just like that? Thank you. Let's get back to the palace. We can sort all of this out there. Sounds good to me. What about her? I was gonna say, like, I want her to join us, you know? Be allied with us? Oh well. And to go back here. Oh. I got a message. Okay, let's keep going. Wait, one more? No, two more actually. I never read messages anyway, so... Didn't get picked this time, but I'll keep things safe here while you're gone. It's okay. Maybe next time, buddy. Uh, in here? Then Savik's cooperation is sincere? She's actually told you the Empire's plan? Seems that way. I checked with General Dayrun and we have a fleet headed to Mekshaw for refueling. The pieces fit. Arn and I will head there right away to meet with the fleet's commander, see if we can start rooting out the imps. If we can stop them on Mekshaw like we did here, we might just stand a chance of defending Corellia. Uh, we won't fail. 
We'll stop the Empire, no matter what they have planned. Then let's get to it. See you on Mechshaw. Senator, thanks for everything. Safe travels. We've got Savik on an Alliance shuttle, ready to move out. She says she wants to stay with us. Well, with you, mainly. Of course, <laughs> the Republic prefers that we transfer her to their control. How would you like to proceed? I want her to be with me. So... Take Savik to Odessan. She could become a real asset to the Alliance. Right away. <laughs> Please don't make us find some other idiot to work for. Uh, that is, we'd much rather work for you. Yay, you're part of the team now. We'll be glad to have you. Lana can set you up with quarters back on Odessan. Oh, that's just ridiculous. We have your ship fueled and ready whenever you wish to depart. Let's go. Using Savik's information, we've sent troops to follow King Petrif. We expect to have him back in a matter of days. His trial will be interesting, of course, but I'm more concerned with what will come after. If the nobles can agree, the question of leadership could turn violent. You'd make a good queen, Nabet. They should choose you. Thank you. But I don't want to rule my people. I only want to speak on their behalf, and share their wisdom with the rest of the galaxy. Good luck on Mechshaw, Commander, and on Corellia. Good luck with you. Good luck to everybody. Yeah, good luck with uh, that dude that's coming. Yeah. You're truly gifted. Oh, I'm truly gifted. I got... What is this? What, what's the difference? Wait. He has an arm with this? Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know. I like the way he is now, though. So. Me with your allies on Mech Show. Okay, you know what? Let's go. And we have arrived. Commander, this is Vice Admiral Narlock, commanding the Republic 29th Fleet. Welcome to Mechshaw. Thank you. Should I join you aboard your ship? Negative. It's best that we meet on the station. I have a local contact who's helping me arrange refueling for our ships. Your Jedi friends are already here. Send the coordinates now. Narlock out. This this looks really cool. Quite a place, huh? Yep. Commander, this is Jot, an old friend of mine. He served thirty years in the Republic Navy, and now he's Mechshaw's chief engineer. Call me Junker. Everyone does. And Chief Engineer is a bit fancier than we like around here. Me and my crew just keep things running. Lights, water, atmosphere. Mechshaw's neutral officially, but me and mine will back the Republic to the end. Whatever you need, we'll help you get. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you for lending us a hand, Junker. 
Not often I get to help a Jedi. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Junker's been working to get us the fuel we need. But it isn't as easy as I'd hoped. Like I said, Mekshaw's neutral. So your ships don't get topped off until the powers that be vote on it. See, Mekshaw used to be run by the Huts. The locals kicked them out while they were distracted with Makeb, then started running things themselves. So all the big decisions come down to a vote by the leaders of the five biggest crews. Lucky for you, I'm one of them. Hutbreaker, she led the revolt. So now she runs the docks. She'll vote for you. Fuel sales go straight into her pocket. So you just need one more vote. Unfortunately, I'm no diplomat. And sorry, Junker, but neither are you. So you need us to get the last vote? And stop whatever the Empire has planned. What else did Darth Savick tell us? We're dealing with Darth Shar. She's the Dark Counselor in charge of Imperial Logistics, which... doesn't sound very scary. Maybe. But you don't make the Dark Council just by getting supplies delivered on time. Never underestimate a Sith. If you're looking for Sith, they'll be with the Brothers. Bunch of creepy slavers down on the lower levels. Empire is their biggest customer. We can bet they'll show up in force as soon as the fleet starts refueling. We'd better plan out our defenses ahead of time. Could Arn and I scout out the docks a bit? I'd like to see what we're dealing with. Of course. I'll take you myself. We'll catch up with you later, Commander. Okay. All right, just us now. No need to put on airs. I know what you're thinking. Because I think it too. You've got a whole big fleet out there and a tiny rock full of lowlifes here. Why not just roll in and take what you need? Hmm. Stealing is wrong. These people aren't our enemy. Forcing them to give us their fuel would be wrong. Good answer. And on top of that, it just wouldn't work. Hutbreaker has a failsafe rigged up. Push a button, it fires a pulse that makes all the fuel on the station inert. It takes weeks to make the fuel useful again. Not the way you want to go, trust me. I got a much easier route for you. Hutbreaker's hosting an auction at her stronghold on the other side of the station. All the crew leaders will be there, and I can get you in. It's your best chance to start winning that last vote. Sure, thanks. What is Hutbreaker auctioning off? Couldn't even begin to tell you. All sorts of crazy stuff passes through Mechshaw. Crossroads of the galaxy. Now, let me just get a few things sorted and we'll get you on your way. What in the... Uh-oh. What the heck? Who are you? Who the... Really? Feeling a bit better now? Hold on. Who's this? My turn. Um, my turn again. Who are you, anyways? What the heck? Just attacking me for no reason. Really? What in the blazes? I saw that lightsaber. Sith trying to take you out already. In the middle of my turf? Yeah, it looks that way. Apparently so. We must have them worried. I'm the one who's worried. How do you manage to get in here without setting off a single alarm? Speeders that way. I'll meet you at Hutbreaker's place in a bit. Gonna put more droids on perimeter security. Blasted Sith think they can just strut right in here. Well, he's mad. Commander, heard you were on your way to Hutbreaker's. Why don't you meet us inside? Uh, sure. Wait, what? Why is Galt here? Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. I wanted to go back. I forgot to unlock the fast travel. That's okay though. I just unlock this one first. Then go back. Reminder. Mechanized travel is for official business only. Okay. 
here. It's getting full. I'm selling this. Whatever. I'll come back to it later. Mechanized travel is for official business only. Yep, you said that already. Invited to a party at Hutbreakers really before. Become the masters. Shikaro has a bit of a crush on her, you know. <laughs> Just watch. He'll be too Whoa. nervous to even talk to her. This is a huge place. Oh, they're selling all this stuff? Fancy meeting you here, boss. We were catching up with Theron and Lana, and they mentioned you were here. Figured we'd lend a hand. We've cut a few deals with these people over the years. With our help, you'll know just how to play them. They'll vote however you want. I'm not here to con anyone. The Republic will give them a fair deal for the fuel. Settling for fair isn't what got these people to the top on Mech Shah. Okay. If you're ready, let's head inside. All right, first up, Hutbreaker, revolutionary leader, liberator, and unofficial queen of Mech Shah. Her crew runs the main docks. She won't need much convincing. Selling that fuel will bring in a small fortune, but that only stands if you keep the peace. You get too messy with any of these gangs, Hutbreaker will lock things down no matter how much she stands to make. Keeping Mech Shah safe is her top priority. All right. What about the brothers? Okay. Not mentioned they work with the Empire. Yeah, they're slavers, all part of some weird religious cult. The Empire buys most of their stock. A lot of the refugees who come through here end up in the Brothers' pens, and Hutbreaker isn't above throwing troublemakers their way, too. Needless to say, you won't be getting their vote for anything that helps the Republic. Better to focus on the other crew leaders. First is Veet the Snake. He runs a Rodian smuggling ring, the Harido Walls. One of the biggest operations in the galaxy. Beak's a businessman. He can be anybody's friend if there's an upshot for him. Just have to figure out what he needs and make sure he gets it. Got it. The other crew leader is Indigo, Mandalorian. Well, ex Mandalorian. Same with his crew. They're called something like Dar. Darma. Darm. Darmanda. They're mercs and gun runners. Indigo has some kind of rivalry with Veek, so it's a good thing you only need one of them to vote your way. Much appreciated. Veek or Indigo? Got it. I appreciate your help. What are friends for? Looks like Hutbreaker's about to give her big welcome speech. Let's find a good spot. Meksha! How are you doing tonight? Look at us! We are surviving! We are thriving! We are turning this tiny rock into the beating heart of the galaxy! Just a few years ago, we were slaves. Now, we're masters. Imagine what we can become in just a few more years. All we've got to do is stay us. Be what we've been so far. We keep the peace. We keep the balance. And we keep moving forward. We've got the whole galaxy laid out in front of us. Everyone else just doesn't see it yet. All they see are the soldiers, politicians, Sith, Jedi. 
All the people who think they run things, who think their wars decide who's in charge. The truth is, they'll never be in charge. They'll never really run things. You know why? Why? Because while they're busy killing each other, we're making deals, making friends, expanding everything they buy so they can blow each other up. We're selling and getting richer, stronger. By the time they stop and do the math, it will be too late. Because there will be a lot more of us than there are of them. And then, it will be us calling the shots. So stay the course, my friends. It only gets better from here. Wow. What a powerful speech. Welcome to Meksha. Did you enjoy the speech? Yep. I can see how you were able to inspire the rebellion against the Huts. Well, the Huts did most of the work for me, if I'm honest. Someone just had to fire the first shot. Now then, please, enjoy our hospitality. Have a drink on me and keep the peace. You can keep the peace, yes? Narlok gave me his word. Servants of the Republic often espouse high ideals, even as their deeds tell a very different story. No need to be rude. Commander, this is Darth Shar. Dark Counselor in charge of production, logistics, and civil order. How do you do? What brings you here? What brings you to Meksha, exactly? Oh, a few minor import-export violations that I wish to resolve. Nothing terribly interesting. I'm sure refueling your warships will be much more exciting. I'm sure the two of you have a lot you could talk about, but we do have a previous appointment. Enjoy the auction, Commander. See ya. I do hope we get to meet again soon. Well, that happened. Anyways. I think I'm going to stop here, guys. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time. Take care.